Ooh. Hey guys, it's T here. I am doing a get ready with me. I'm also going to explain to y'all. I had a question from one of, I don't know if they're a subscriber or not, but someone asked me a question. They asked if, um, as you can see, I already put on my lashes too. Uh, they asked me if I get approached by, um, who do I get approached by more, black guys or white guys? So honestly, to answer this question, it's not a specific race that I get approached by. If I sound funny, it's because my throat has been um, hurting. It, it's, I woke up this morning with a hurting, whatever. But um, it's not like a, a certain type of guy I get approached by more because to be honest, I get approached by so many like different races and backgrounds of men. It's just, I can't say, it really just depends on where I'm at, to be honest. Like in my area, there's really like, it's really either black or white. It's really like, it's every now and then you'll see like Asians or um, I don't know, just like any other race, like Mexicans or Puerto Ricans. It's really rare that you would see them. And a lot of them that has approached me when I'm home or people that are just visiting from out of town. So, yeah, like, it's really, like, not a specific race that approached me more than the other, to be honest. Like, I feel like they all approach me the same amount, just depending on where the heck I am at that moment. Like, when I go to the south, see, I look orange. I really don't like that. Like, when I go to the south or whatever, um... Like, I could approach by so many people down there. I mean, so many different races down there. But I, for some reason, I will say, like, when I go to the South, I feel like I do get approached by more of, um... Which is weird, because, like, you would think it's the freaking South. Yeah, no. So, I do get approached by, um... I get approached by a lot of white guys and then a lot of Puerto Ricans. But when I'm in the South, I would really say it's either... It's more of Puerto Ricans that is, that's approaching me, to be honest. From what from what I've experienced, like, like, honestly, from what I experienced, it's more of a, like, Puerto Ricans, but hair is black and white guys when I'm at home, my hometown or whatever is black and white guys is, like, oops, shit, so I most definitely get approached by many different people, many different guys, and it's not just a specific race that I get approached by, I get approached by all of them. But when I'm at home, like I said before, when I'm at home is both, it's uh, black and white. When I'm out of town, it's a lot of like foreign people that approach me. Even like, I'm about to say there's black and white. I'm going to say foreign too, because like, I go to like this other city close to my city. I go there, it's like an hour away. When we go there and go out or whatever. I have like Africans approaching me. I have like Asians and just all that type of stuff. One per one race I can say that has never approached me is a Native American, <laughs> which is like crazy to me. But because I guess there's really none around here, to be honest. But yeah, a Native American is one race that I have that has never approached me. I feel like. Every female goes through this. I could be wrong, but I, I really do. So, yeah, to answer your question, there's not a specific amount of who approaches me more because it's the same. It's equally, everybody, it, the man just approached me equally, like, to be honest. One thing I can say, which is annoying, is, like, today, okay, not, I met this guy a few weeks ago. My eye. Something's not right. I met a guy a few weeks ago or whatever. And not a few weeks ago. I met him last weekend, actually. Last weekend at the bar that we be going to. I gave him my fake number because y'all know them apps or whatever. I don't give my real number to nobody. But y'all know them apps or whatever. So I gave him that number. And we was texting. Like, I know one day he... No, he, like, called me, but I was busy getting ready for work. So then he texts me, and I was like, okay, cool, whatever. Like, there's something in my eye. But, yeah, so, like, we was texting. We was doing a little bit of texting. Not a lot at all, just a really, really tiny bit. And so I told this guy, 
uh, no, we was talking. What happened? Something happened. So he told me, um, he like called me and I think I was at work or something. And I told him I was going to call him when I got off. I didn't call him when I got off. I forgot. But then I texted him in the morning. I said, good morning. Because, you know, I forgot to call him. I told him good morning. And he ain't sent me back like the whole entire day. So I was like, you know what? This is a cutoff point for me. Because I ain't got them games to do. I really don't. So I was like, this is a cutoff point for me or whatever. So I was cutting him off yesterday. But then he text he now I was cutting him off today because that happened yesterday. So I was cutting him off today. And he texted me and was like, um, he texted me, so then I texted him back. No, he called me. That's what it is. He called me while I was at work and it was almost time for my break anyway. So when he called me, I just went on my break. So we was talking on the break or whatever. He seemed pretty cool. But then he asked me out. Like, he was like, do you want to, like, do something? Do you want to, like, hang out or whatever? I was like, are you asking me on a date? He was like, I mean, if that's what you want to call it. I was like, so what do you want to do? He was like, I'm going to go out to eat and I'm going to chill, get to know each other. I said, I think that's a date. He was like, right, if that's what you want to call it, whatever. So I'm just like, um, I'm like, yeah, like, what you want to do? Where you want to go? He was like, how about Red Lobster? I'm like, okay, cool. That's fine. And, um... I was like, okay, cool, that's fine, or whatever. And then, I was like, you know, I'm, a, I'm um, at work, and I'm on break, so I'm about to head back to work, so I'll call you back. I'll call you when I get off. He was like, okay, cool. Mind y'all, the date was supposed to be today. And I was like, okay, cool, whatever. And um, so I called him when I got off of my break. Mind you, I was still, I was busy at the time because I was doing something with my cousin. But still, I, I called him. That's all that matters. So I called him. On my break, I mean, when I got when I got home, I called him, and he didn't call me back or text me or nothing. So, that date is a no-go, and that, that whole deal is off. That's why I really don't be messing with people, because don't get me wrong. I, I know people get busy, and pe stuff happen, you know, things happen. We're human. You know, we're not perfect, but, like... Let me know what's going on. Don't like, because I know you see my call. Don't ignore my call. Let me make sure he ain't text me while I'm talking shit. Like, don't ignore me. Let me know what's going on. I'm not tripping because I was probably, I was, I had plans already tonight. So me just, I was just fitting that in to my plans, mind y'all. So I'm not really tripping if like the date couldn't happen either. Because, you know, I don't be pressed about shit like that. I really don't be. Like, I'm already a busy ass I'm busy as it is. And, like, like I said, I was fitting that date into my schedule for tonight. Not trying to, like, sound, like, all weird and shit about it or whatever. I'm really not. But, like, like I said, I already had plans for tonight. Because I just had plans for tonight. So, I was fitting that in or whatever. And, um, my thing is just let me know what's going on, bro. If we can't, we can't. But, like, communicate with me that, you feel me? Just communicate with me what's going on if nothing's let me know ain't nothing going on like i won't be mad about it i won't be pressed about it but i already know how this is about to go so now that that happened do about to give it a few days or give it a day and he gonna send me tomorrow talking about talking about sorry i fell asleep and um then i got up for work blah blah, blah this and that you know what i'm gonna do nothing Nothing at all, because it ain't no hard feelings, but I can already tell right there. No, thank you, sir. I don't want them. Pro I don't want this. I don't want that. Like, I don't want them. He, don't get me wrong. Like I said, he, he seemed like a nice guy, a cool guy. He, he got a nice head on his shoulders or whatever. But I did tell him, I was like, bro, you. Ain't, I did tell him he got my fake number. I'm just an honest person. I really don't care what people got to say, because, like, I'm not giving my real number to you. I don't know you. You don't know me. You're not getting my real number. Don't nobody get my real number, but family and close friends. That's who gets in. Uh, obviously, jobs and just professional things and whatnot. But yeah, so that's what happened with that. My story is I don't get approached by more men than, I mean, one race of men than the other race of men. It's like an equal balance there. I don't know how that happened, but yeah, that's, um, what else? The other point is give them a chance. They ruin that chance. Then that's it. You feel me? Like, like that's one of my things I'm trying to do now because before 
I want to give people my number. I'm like, no, I'm just not interested. I'm not in this. You feel me? I'm not dating, blah, blah, blah. And then before, like, I would start dating people, I just would never text them when they text me. Like, I was just a rude B. But now I'm actually trying. You feel me? I'm trying to date. I'm trying to find that person. So, like, I do. I, what, that's one thing I do have to applaud myself for. I did give him a chance. I did give him the benefit of the doubt. And, like, you mess up that, you mess that up. Because I ain't the one. Like, I don't know. Give them, give people chances. That's my point. Give them a chance. And when they F up that chance, let it go. It ain't on you no more. It was on them. It was they turn. They ruined it. That's their fault, not yours. So, going about your business, it can't tell you to do you. Because that's what I am going to do. I am going to continue to be me. I mean, do me. Boo-boo. Ching. <laughs> um... Yeah, that's about it. I hope you guys, sorry y'all, the lighting is so off. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Also give this video a big thumbs up. I am on my whole thing of not uploading and then uploading and then apologizing for not uploading. So I'm not going to apologize because you keep apologizing and then you keep doing it. You're not really sorry. So um, I'm just going to try my hardest to continue to upload. If it don't happen, then I promise y'all will something will get uploaded but it's like I said just send me like stuff y'all want to see y'all want to hear me talk about bye